right, let me do that. I'm let... I'm reading the thingy. Oh yeah, but hold on, let me do the intro. Okay. This is Amigos PC. If you were looking for a highbrow, fancy, smart, regal podcast with hosts that love to talk about horse riding, badminton, and trips to the vineyard, you're in the wrong place. This is Amigos PC. If you're looking for drinking, random nonsense, stunts, shenanigans, and balls out craziness, you've hit the jackpot. This is Amigos PC, and this is Scott and Mark. Good evening. This podcast is presented by Podgo. Podgo is the easiest way for you to monetize your podcast, providing podcasters with a flat rate for ad space. So you always know how much you get when you include an ad from Podgo. Podgo. Apply today to become a member and immediately buy connected advertisers and fit your audience. That fits your audience. That's podgo.com co at p o d g o dot c o, and be sure to add our podcast in the "How did you hear about the Podgo?" section of your application. Is it too loud? I like how I turn into the uh, the commercial guy all of a sudden. You know that, right? It's been like three times in a row, right? Yeah, it has been. It's all right. It's okay. I guess I know my role. You do everything else, so why not? At least do one thing, I know, right? I know, At least one I know. thing. I'll take right? one thing. But I can't wait until you actually listen to those those podcast episodes and then this book. What, so we you, can the thing you sent me that to do that I didn't do. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, not not to do. I mean, to do it eventually, right, but right. I'm not telling you to do it on some timeline. Or anything. Right. Just check these out. True. This is good insight. Things that we can do going forward. Right. Um, this is our second episode ever. Thanks yes, for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you for that tuning in, the person. Right? Yep, correct. So, jumping right into our fun topics of the day. Big news in the gaming world. Yeah, gaming world. It pl- gaming PlayStation and the Xbox are starting to filter into the mainstream public, right? Yeah, like people are getting... good because we need distractions from... All the craziness in the world. That? Sorry, that was me. I'll turn it <laughs> I got a, I got a ping you get a from text message. I did. Oh. You did. Uh, I did. I did. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's good to get that distraction. We need gaming because if everyone's read the new, you know, seen the news or knows what's going on, there's a lot of craziness in the world. From our politic fun to our COVID fun. And everything it's fun, it's everything. right? It's a weird. Well, this is kind of like hampering on fun in general. So, like, if you're poor, like me and you, right? Correct. Um, you didn't get one. You didn't get a PlayStation Five. You didn't get I an didn't, Xbox. I didn't get a PlayStation Four. You really? Yeah. We have. Well, we have an Xbox One. Well, you know, it came out like almost ten years ago, right? Wow, that long ago? Holy crap! Eight. I get I one cheap now. I think it's eight. Yeah, you probably you can get cheap. one for like hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. Nice. Thinking of getting another one. Why? Oh, for upstairs or something? Yeah. Yeah. Just have a second one. That's smart. Because I have PlayStation Plus. So what like... about no, just get a five, right? You know, in like two months when you can get one. And then or buy one like you saw, like some shady people reselling the ones. Yeah. Well, that's what we we're gonna talk about right. is people reselling it. Like you, you these guys some people are like, hey, look at his hustle. Well, that's not really his house. He's actually being a complete dude. Like, it's one thing. So I flip houses, right? Uh Uh-huh. And it's one thing to take something at a discount, right? Because it needs to be brought into the new current age. Yeah. And then selling it for a profit. Right. That's one thing. But taking something that's brand new and then just marking it up. Because no one else can get one. Yeah. Exactly. Is the... TP debacle all over again. Through that, yeah. Hand sanitizer. Yes, yeah. it is. So I'm seeing now PlayStation 5s out there for $900, $950 when they retail for $500. That's crazy. It is crazy. It's stupid. Yeah. It's, and I, that's not for, hustle. That for, is not first hustle. First off, like none of my kids are going to get one because right. I never bought the first 
beer because it's too expensive and they don't need anything that expensive. Oh, there might be bugs. Get it, might be that bugs too. too. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. Typically, I don't. They're pretty good these days with that. But I, I think I know. did wait a year to get my PlayStation Four. I wait. I wait basically on a on a cheap. I, I wait on the cheap aspect of it because oh, I think you know what I mean. Drops it's drops. Yeah, that's my thing because five hundred bucks to me that's way more than santa will 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 fork out for some kids you know what i mean unless you got tons of money i told i told, I told my wife fucking i was like a couple hundred bucks a kid this year oh exactly that's that's, that's we, what that's what we always do they don't i mean they already have too much shit as is so I know. Like so we yeah can't, we can't go overboard if the parent if the grandparents want to get them something crazy so be it but for us like yeah a couple hundred bucks. That's it per kid. We got too many kids, and you have more kids than I, I do. That's and why. That's I'm what like, I mean. That's why it becomes. Maybe if I had one kid, but I still wouldn't. I still don't think one kid deserves a five hundred dollar PlayStation or an Xbox because no, that family gift. Exactly. Because to me, because why, why would why would my kid? I mean, yeah. Obviously, I would love my kid. I love my kids, but if I had one kid, right? I wouldn't want to spoil them that much and give them. Something that awesome yeah. when I don't even have it. Well, I know, you know one I mean? year when I was making that LD money. Yeah. Um, Long dick money. Yeah. Yep. I was, uh, I, I ended up getting a, a switch for the kids. Those were I crazy. was like, this is for everybody. Yeah. This is a family gift. Yeah. Like, Which is good. That's, a, that's the way. The she, Anderson family from Santa. That's the way to do it because that way they all share it. They yeah. all can play it and. On those expensive gifts is what you have to do, really. So more news on the the Sony PlayStation. Basically, it was launched today. Target and Walmart had crazy internet chaos. They couldn't keep up with the traffic. Yeah, you were saying that PlayStation, their website itself, had issues. They were oh, when down. when the pre-orders first started, PlayStation had a whole bunch of issues. Uh, they ran out of stock immediately once they fixed the computer, uh, the website issue. Uh, people crashed the site, it seemed like. I don't, I don't know if that's actually what happened, but it seemed like people crashed the site. And then once they actually got the site up and running, they ran out right away. Uh, and then they had, a couple days later, they uh, did more pre-orders and eventually were able to get... Like PlayStation is on a, a new level of demand right now. I do think, I mean, I know what's cool about it, because I don't know the specs or anything, because yeah. obviously I've been out of the loop, and it's probably PlayStation 2. In the PlayStation game world, um, but looking at it, it looks, would, to me, it looks better than the Xbox. It's a like the design uh, well, itself looks better. The Xbox is just a black it's box. It's a box, yeah. It Did you hear what they're doing with the so Xbox? You fucking put in the plane. What? So people, idiots are people who like to vape, aka idiots. Okay, are putting vape smoke into the Xbox because the way the ports are, it looks like a fog machine because the xbox is like this black box yeah, it just like yeah but the top has a bunch of holes in it so everything can breathe right and they're pushing the air out there the fuck well, system you yeah keep, exactly keep doing that fucking vape Retards. people are, you, you just spend 500 dollars on this xbox fucking whatever xbox it's not an xbox one but it's an xbox i don't know xbox. s5 three i don't buy microsoft so i just know it yeah. has X, xbox and we were talking about that before i, I was i've been an xbox person mm -hmm. for i mean i i don't even play that i don't play at all but well when we first came out i used to play x i used to play halo that was hey, my hey, thing we're, we are gonna play though as soon what are we going to play? Command and Conquer comes back. Oh, yeah. That is our game. We Ooh, talked about that. We are going to live stream that shit. We are. On and then and then also once, you know, we had marijuana get passed here, we can have a marijuana episode. It'll be, yes. It's legal for us. Then. You talking about it openly. openly. Oh, my goodness. It'll be legal then. Dude, you know what I'm going to do? That, for, that that not, for that, that episode, we're going to start on, uh, you know, actually, for that episode, we really should start. We need, the we need, mics are live, right? We need caregivers too. Like we need somebody just to have like a blanket ready, <laughs> like we're fucking survivors. That's what we need to have. Like, like we do gummies every, and everything else. No, 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 no edible. No, thank you. Um, it's gonna be that situation of every awesome action movie at the end where they uh, have the blue blankets and you're in the and you're in the back of the the fucking. They're about to light you on fire and they have to put you out. Well, no, no, it's the it's the comfort away. zone at the oh. end when everything's you know. You get the glass all over you and you're I bleeding. Gonna I was going to show you a picture of the Xbox with the vape. 
I believe you. People do stupid shit. Yeah. You know the go word, ahead. Go you know ahead. I'm sorry, word. I interrupted you. I don't even know what I was saying. Basically, I used to be an Xbox person. Well, I still am because that's what I buy the kids. But I do have, you know, we do have a PlayStation Four that one kid has, and then uh, which he was sharing another with another kid. But now, my oldest, he basically does his own thing and doesn't really play. So, um, and then my youngest. Uh, not my youngest, but one of them has basically the Xbox One. Wow! So how do they get it? Is it already out already? How do they yeah. get it already? Yeah, no, yeah, you can. Like Microsoft was delivering on. So, so these ones today for PlayStation. Does that mean they um, <laughs> are they going to get delivered early or no? Like. Because these are just pre-orders. If you pre-order the PlayStation or Xbox, you should have gotten it today. Oh, gotcha. That's and that's that the works. thing. Like, it got so screwed up that some people at PlayStation, like people who ordered a PlayStation, may not get it until the 17th or some other day. Uh, that's not the release date, even though they pre-ordered it. Gotcha. And then what they're doing is. They're now then taking it as, okay, well, I'm going to sell it. So I have a PlayStation coming on the 17th. Uh, it's coming with XYZ games and this controller. I want 1200 bucks for it. Give me a security deposit, and then it's yours once I get it. Wow. Yeah. No, the only time I ever thought about, have you ever thought about ever doing that? Like the whole go and buy so cheap to flip it? Which I know you just said that's kind of an asshole thing to do, but I did always think like you know those. I've uh, always thought about it. Doing, I thought about yeah. doing those. Uh, what are they? The, not the game, the Game Boys. Obviously, showing my age, but the like the PlayStation Portable. No, not those ones, but the the Nintendo ones. I can't switches. think of what they're, they're not switches though. That's the actual game system. But they have the they used to have like not Game, game Boys, Boy. but they're not Game, game Gear. I'm like, God damn it! I'm gonna look this shit up. But basically, I used, I wanted to go get those when they were like a hundred bucks. So they normally sell for like two hundred. You can buy them, and they normally sell out. Yeah, you can sell them for two hundred or more. Is it the retro one where it's like a mini? It's NES? like NES. Yeah, the, the Nintendo. Uh, oh, the DS. DS. Here we go. NDS or DS? Yeah, yeah. those Nintendo DS. When they would come out with those, and they were cheap. You know, Black Friday wise, but then I, you know, I've never been a Black Friday Dude, person. Well, so. okay, it's different. So, like, let's say you went Black Friday and the DS is discounted a hundred dollars, right? Yeah, and you then you're turning around to sell it retail. Yeah, during Christmas. Yeah, because they don't exist. That's yeah. different yeah. because, but you could go higher because if the demand is there, yeah, you could go up. But if you're but, only doing it at retail or just under, or you're yeah. trying to get retail plus tax, like that's not as douchey as, as just that. doubling the price the day it comes out. As the ones you're looking at, where yeah. it's nine hundred bucks. You're, it's not that you're with that situation. It's not that you're doubling the price just because you stood in line. To yeah, get that, you're the, counting for okay. That makes, time. Me feel, that makes me feel better, right? But this guy pre-ordered it online because it's the only way you could have pre-ordered because of COVID. Thank you, right? Right. You didn't stand in line to pre-order this, and then now you, you're waiting for it to come, and you're triple, you know, doubling the price plus adding a couple bucks for each game and controller that you just got. Right. System. He's the the one guy that I just showed you for this example is yeah. promoting it as I have two controllers with it. Well, one comes with the fucking system, dude. So really, you have one, one. controller, yeah. and they're selling up for nine hundred. You said twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Well, that's 12. the one with games though, too, right? Yeah. So four games, bundle. two game, four games, two controllers, and the Xbox or the PlayStation yeah. Five for twelve hundred. How old we are that we don't even know what it what is because we is. don't even yeah. So we're not we're not going to buy it. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, good, good, I, look, good I am luck. Go, I'm going to buy it. You I'm are just not going to buy it right now. What's the what's the what's the latest coolness about it? Is uh, it just because it's more sport, you know, obviously well, graphics are always has, better. Yeah, it has more memory. Uh they are compatible throughout with 4K TVs. Honestly, you need a 4K TV to actually play this thing. Oh, okay. So if you don't have a 4K, it's not going to be as it's not worth it. Great, right, yeah. Not. 
But yeah. even right now, like it, the the lineup that they presented is not that great for video games, right? In my opinion, at least. I mean, maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla is, is a good. I heard that one. Yeah, yeah. they were talking but, about that. I heard. But beyond that, I mean, it's not that. You can wait. Right. Yeah. Which I. I mean. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it anyway, so I'm not even worried. But you know, well, you would buy more- you would buy a freaking. Uh, Xbox before you bought a PlayStation, right? You're an Xbox. Well, again, I don't kind of sewer. Again, I don't, I don't play enough to even buy it for myself. It would be whatever kid yeah, wants it. So whatever they have, because I know my youngest, the Xbox One. I know he wants a PlayStation. Obviously, oh, really? he's not gonna get a fucking PlayStation Five. No. Um, what might happen is maybe he'll get the four that we have. Well, he, I don't know. You have a he, four. Yeah, Xbox Four or PlayStation Four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but that's not me. It's the kids, kids who play it. And when was the last time you played a video game? Not on your like phone. On the yeah, on a console. That's on a console. Um, uh, probably six months, maybe a year. No, not a year. Six months. Would you play? Years of War. Really? Yeah. Me and my youngest played it, which okay. isn't that nice to play with a younger kid, but. He, Dude, he had fun. I tried to play Trevor Saves the Universe with my kids around. Yeah. I've never, what is that one? It's that good. It's the video game that the creator from Rick and Morty made, uh, just rolling. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. Within like the first 20 minutes of the game, you have to make a decision of letting this giant head dude eat these pregnant women. So essentially, he's eating their fetuses, right? Wow. And right. they kind of say that they, not kind of, they say that in the video game. Or you kick him off this ledge that his house sits on, you still kill the pregnant females. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a, a lose crazy, lose situation. Like, which, which worst evil do you want to pick? You know what? I think that me and you should stream play that yeah. and stream it. Oh, maybe. Like a couple hours a uh, uh, an episode or something like that, just be like a thing, a side thing that we do, you yeah. know. Yeah, you it'd be fun. you would love that game, of course, because it is like super fucking dark. <laughs> I do like dark stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, dark comedy, dark nights. I'm surprised you didn't hear of it. I think you told me about it, but I don't remember. It doesn't. Yeah, yeah. That's I why got, I was like, "What? What is that?" I got it. Uh, I want to say like a couple weeks after it came out. I when did it a come out? Bit. Like years ago, right? A couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. No, I wouldn't say a couple years. It'd be like a year. Yeah, a little over a year. It uh, had to be. It had to be let in the least the last two years because I remember you talking about it. Yeah. In, in the podcast world that we've been in, it is. It's, it, up. it is an awesome game though. Like it, you just you can't play it around kids. But you know what's funny too is they Which have is- a censored version and they have an uncensored version, but all they do is just blur out, not blur out, but mute the words. Mm. So it's not as fun. So it's almost like Q. Yeah. Almost like that instead of saying fuck you, say like yeah. Q. Yes, exactly. So it's only it's like, man, it's still this kids- is not a fun. I got to play the regular version. Yeah. And I play the re- regular version. And my wife is all like, what the hell did they just say? Just like rap songs. I get mad on the edited version. I'm like, come on. Mm-hmm. I got to turn this off. The Walmart disc. Yeah. Or was that Target? No, it was probably Walmart. No, it was Walmart. When they had edited shit. Yep. Cool. If you want this to sell at Walmart, it's got to be edited. All right. Well, well I don't get- custom my raps. Do they do they, do they still sell CDs at Walmart? Have you been there in a while? I mean, I've been there. Yeah, I've been to Walmart, but I don't know. Where, where, where can you buy CDs now? Like Walmart and Target used to be able to. I'm pretty sure you can still buy CDs at at, Tar- at Walmart. You think so? Yeah. I don't have to check. I know. I, mean, I can't. It's I not can't a section say, that I can't you go say to. I'll, yeah, because I would never go there for it. No. Do you still have Spotify Premium? No, I don't. I have uh, Apple Music. Apple Music now. The Family Plan? Yeah. Yeah, get rid too. of. Yeah. Well, I had I didn't have Spotify. I had uh, Pandora. Oh, that's right. That's what I had. That was my that was my go to. But I got rid of that, and I'm doing Apple Music, which I've noticed there are some things that Apple Music doesn't have, which you would think Apple would have everything, everything. at least a lot of it. They don't have. Something like that. 
others do. I've noticed that too. There, there, but there's like there was one bands. I'm really. It's like a hype niche. Like if you don't know that, like they release five songs ever. And okay. Their their one of their songs is on Apple, and that's it. Out of the five, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's what I've noticed with Little Dicky. He has some songs that aren't on Apple Music, but they are on other. Little Dicky. You know who Little Dicky is. Is he the one that sings the two two uh, two hookers in a microphone or some shit? No, no, you're thinking of Beck, I think. Nope, that's nope. Am I th- what? I think that's Little Dicky. I'm- no, Little Dicky is not not that guy. No, I'm thinking. Oh shit, dude, I'm thinking of a different. You fucking love this rapper. No, I know who Little Dicky is. He's yeah, the one that know. did the fucking. Uh, he was Chris. Chris. What yeah, Chris name? Brown. Him and Chris, Chris Brown make a switch. Freaky I mean, Friday. Yeah, Freaky Friday. Yeah, that's he, Little Dicky. There's so much I listen to music, I can't fucking remember. I know. Mickey Avalon is who I was thinking of. Have you ever heard Mickey Avalon? No. Oh, dude. Rapper. You need to fucking listen to Mickey Avalon. Okay. Funny stuff, I would imagine. Kind of like Little Dicky. Yes and no. Yeah. Okay. And no. <laughs> but it is. No, it's good. Mickey Avalon. Check that out. Fucking good. Like he's. You definitely, you definitely have uh, some obscure music sometimes some of the things that you have listened to because i remember you talking about something else recently that was like oh like uh oh no european oh the streets yeah there's yeah some european rappers or something i'm like who the fuck is, what you never heard of the streets no oh, and dude. it could be me not knowing but i've never heard of them are you serious and i i find i i like to say that i know a lot about all right hold, kind of hold on hold on we're gonna shut down YouTube. But hold. On. Oh, you don't have to play it. Do yeah. No, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. I'm not gonna be able to fulfill. I have. I have to be able to embrace myself. Yeah. In it. You've heard of these samples of it is not gonna. No, do I'm me, gonna give do you me you. justice. I'm gonna give you a fucking. You've never heard of the streets? <sighs> Again, maybe I've heard I'm their songs. Sure you maybe I've heard their songs and just don't know that it's yeah, them. Put it that way. All right, we got some dead noise going on here. Um, dead yeah, dead silence, even though we got the background stuff. Here we go. Dead air is what it is. I think you played this for me when we had the same conversation. Never yeah, I know. Okay. That's very British. Yeah, it is. Well, that's, Which I, I kind of like. I don't it. know if that's like really British, but. Well, British to us Americans. Yeah. That sounds very. That sounds like a perfect song that'd be like in a Guy Ritchie movie. <laughs> it probably was in a Guy Ritchie movie. Let's see if I can share it. That seems like something that would be like where they're they're getting in the van and they're about to go. Yeah. That brand. Share to Scott. There we go. Which I'm sure you can get that whole thing. All right, and then the other one was Mick Avalon, which sounds like some 1950s <laughs> surfer <laughs> song singer. It kind of does. Because basically, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of who, Frankie Al- Al- Avalon. That's what I'm thinking of. That's you. That's who you're talking about. No, that was uh, the streets again. The streets still some different song. Then here we go. This is a fucking. I like this song actually. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But Alright, that, uh, yeah, no, that one, uh, that's good Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief He's actually, I gotta start fucking I gotta put that back in my fucking list. There you go. <laughs> They're like whatever. Yeah. Again, you 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 listen to some stuff that I don't. But then again, I'm same with me. And sure, I listen to shit that you probably don't even fucking heard of. Or no, I haven't heard of MS13. <laughs> yes. Well, 
Albert jumped me in. That's how I got <laughs> in the fucking crew. Uh, Albert. So there's some uh, Game of Thrones news. Oh, tell me. Tell me more. Um, tell you more. So the Game of Thrones, it's not even Game of Thrones news. It's just basically talking about Jason Momoa. But uh, he basically, once he was done shooting the show, apparently no one would give him a job. So they were on almost a situation where they were running low on funds. Okay. And he was almost like losing shit. So that Go was on. the only news. That was it. Oh, that was it? That was the only news. Game of Thrones news. I'm trying to find the story here again. But you know they're in talks of doing a spinoff. I've heard that. <clears throat> like a prequel, right? Yeah. Where it's like talking before the magic. Rhaegar. Or Rhaegar and his upcoming. And who's Rhaegar again? Is he the he's not the Mad King, is he? Nope. That's his dad. Rhaegar's son. Rhaegar fucked Ned Stark's sister and started Game of Thrones basically by a war. Gotcha. Because Ned Stark's sister was actually married to uh, Robert Baratheon, who happened to be king when Game of Thrones started. Wow. You, are you reading the books and shit? Or like, you know, a lot. I listen to the books. All of them? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Would you, would you get more out of it than you thought? Or like more that you didn't need to know? What do you think? The books for Game of Thrones are way better than the show. Hmm. And the show's amazing. That's right, true. Like the you, show, we're both huge fans of the show. Agreed. The books agreed. are way better than the show. So, in the nude scenes, when you're reading it slash hearing it, because I know yeah. you don't read, when you're hearing it, can you picture it awesome like it Let, is? In the, let's in the... say when I used to be an underwriter, okay, I would have to excuse myself. Oh, oh I'm just okay. Wow. Not excuse myself, but so that's how good it was. It it's very detailed as to things that are going on in the book. You since I watched the show already, I was like season three by the time I started picking up books. Yeah, you can kind of just you can envision, and I'm sure regular avid readers can do this, you know, use their imagination easily. But for me, like knowing the characters from the show and then listening to the books, I put a face to the character. Oh, yeah, because if you didn't, yeah. I would have to use my imagination right. to figure out what they what they look like, but and, and I knew what they look like first with the show. And with books, they you know they go into that great detail to describe yeah. what they look like. So the from books, what I know, because I don't read the books versus the show. Tyrion in the show is a badass. In the books, he's a super badass. Like he he takes on giants. Really, in the book, like huh. I which, don't are, remember, which are normal height people. Yes. Well, to him, yes. Right. Uh, uh, so I don't remember, or not remember, I don't know if you remember, in the show, there was a war where he went to go meet his dad and he had the giant clan with him from somewhere. And it... The wildlings or the... No, not the wildlings. These these were just like some giants. Random giants? I don't remember yeah. any other random giants except for wildling ones. No. So, well, they, they, so they were like nomads. They were bigger. Maybe just to, big soldiers. Like Vikings. Okay. Okay. So he went, met his dad at this field of war they were at. It was near the Twin Tower. Tw twin Tower. Oh, now 9-11. It's wow. in Game of Thrones. Of course. Uh, no, it was the Twin. Was it the Twin Towers? No. The Who Twin Peaks? Nope. That's the <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. yeah it's that is Twin something. It's Twin something. Or the Sister Towers. It's where the fucking where the, the, one main, dude, the main castle is. No, the, it's where the one dude where he fucked all his daughters, essentially. Hmm, not ringing a bell. Which Arya slit his throat near the end of the oh, series. Oh, that guy. She with her. Was, I think it was his like power in the sky. No, that that's the. Okay, okay we're not gonna be able to know the map. No, yeah, we're not because <laughs> it's been a while. No, it's and, been a while, and I can't remember all the names of the locations. Right. Um, that's the eerie. I think what are you talking yeah, about in the right. in the sky. Yeah, that doesn't sound right to me. Either way, but, so they he shows up with these like nomad type guys. They're really kind of like giants, but not giants. You know, like the in between human versus uh, a giant kind of guy. Mm -hmm. 
either way, in in the show, they end up starting to to go into war, like they're all heading to the front lines to go, and Tyrion out of nowhere gets knocked out. Mm. And then he wakes up on like this cart as the war's ended, and uh, the Lannisters have won the war. This so the, this little is, battle is skirmish, not a fighting war. Against, right? He's fighting against his family. Yeah, in the book, Tyrion fights almost like any and everybody. It's crazy. He mm. has like this like club with an axe handle on it, uh, and, and he's like killing people left and right. In huh. the book. Because you can't see him, right? He's just fucking taking out kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. There's a little... little. But they can great tell how many people he killed and as he was killing them and things like that. Like, it's just multiple pages of him being a badass in this war. In the TV show, he gets knocked out and then wakes up on a fucking cart. And you're like, oh, man. I do remember that part. Him waking up on the cart. Yep. But yeah, that was my Game of Thrones news, even though you got into uh, a whole bunch of other. But I would be interested in checking out the uh, listening to the books because I'm yeah. going to read them. There's no way. That shit's way too long. But I also said that I wanted to watch the whole season again. Well, just, you before have, the do you last... have Audible or no? No, remember, I you sent me that thing today and I was oh, like, I don't want to sign up that yeah. shit. Not that, just because I probably won't use I can't, it. I can't read books. I just, well, me neither. It's not, it's, I think listening to them could be possible. Yeah. I mean, it is possible. They listen to shit all day. I was an underwriter when I listened to them. Right. And mm-hmm. like, I'd be sitting there like, you know, doing my thing, under, underwriting alone or whatever. And I'm learning like, holy Spanish. Sh- holy shit. This is like, I'd be like into the book and I'd be like, hold on. I gotta pause for a second and like, kind of listen. The, like, go to the bathroom. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good, that was a good scene, Arya Stark. No, oh, she's too young until the end. Mm. I guess she was probably older there at the end. Sansa, I will say Sansa. this: I can't wait until the actual books come. the The last book comes out because obviously the show's ended. They've had their ending and how they played it out, and they didn't go off the books because there is no ending to the books yet. Which which we talked about it, I think when it happened, I think we yeah yeah it has been like past we're talking years, about right? Game of Thrones forever. I know, but remember how we we, we complained thing. about it because it felt it felt rushed. That yeah, last at season. the very end. Yep. So obviously the book's going to be a lot more. See, you do remember things sometimes, man. It's hit or miss. <laughs> hit or miss. <clears throat> so. We have holiday shit coming up, right? Oh, we do. Right? Which I means, put up the Christmas tree. Which we have already. Um, so where do we... But we... Oh. We bought a little one because we're in this little rental. Yeah. So we have a little five foot, six foot one that we put up. The other one's in store. But anyways, I had a, there was a thing that was kind of going to kind of twist into conspiracy theory in my head. But I want to not so. This time of year, we have, you know, Black Friday stuff like sales and shit, like things on sale. Right now, they have a, a 23andMe and like an Ancestry.com that's on sale. Mm. Would you ever do one of those or have you ever done one of those? And the counterpoint to that is, which I don't know if that's the right phrase to use there, but I don't care. But do you think there's a conspiracy to it where they're like cataloging all our shit <laughs> and go? I love it. I have not done it. Okay. Uh, I would do it for the show. Okay, but yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, but I would not just willy nilly do it. <laughs> do you? Okay, but you didn't answer the conspiracy question. Do you yeah. think there is a conspiracy to where they may use your shit to a point a crime in your direction? Yeah. Have you ever donated blood? I have. Oh fuck! That's another way they can get you. Okay. I have done that. Have they ever had, like, have you ever gone to the doctor and they had to draw blood for some reason? They have. So either way, I'm in some databases that we're getting at. Yeah, I think they already have it is what I'm getting at. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have dental records. But it, not that I'm going to stay never off the radar. Done, but if you've never done that at all and you've you never think done that, this. Yeah. yeah, and you've never done 23andMe, uh, I think that's... 
Ancestry.com, you don't you they don't do blood and shit, right? They do like a swab in your mouth or they something. They do? Yeah. They extract your D- DNA so Oh, it's the only way they can link you, you back. Yeah. Something mm, that seems kind of fishy as shit there. They want your spit. I guess. <sighs> no. But if you're one of those people that have never done anything like that and you've never had blood taken, period, even though every single newborn that's born in a hospital has had had blood taken at some point, uh, if you've never had blood taken and you, you know for a certain, you, no. Like, if I, if, if I never had blood taken th- that I know of, like, even as a newborn or any of that, I don't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it at all. It's so hard. You would have had to. You, I know. You know what I mean? There's really no way. Well, even in today's society, any newborn. Conspiracy. Right? Like, let's say you had conspiracy. No, you're not taking this blood. You're going to, I'm going to watch you. Or you were like born. Give them. You were born in like a a makeshift jacuzzi in the house because. Like a tub birth. Your mom wanted to do mom doc. Yeah, and like one of those, one of those. What are they call those midwives. Yeah, midwives. Midwives, and you're in yeah. a tub, and you're getting born, and then you never get in the system. You're cataloged. I'm, I'm just there. trying to wonder how you can get, you know, because you have to go to school and shit. You're always on a fuck. You're always being tracked. At some point, there's no way to not be tracked. So I guess fuck it. Sign up with it. I guess fuck but that why, conspiracy. What I mean, other. So you think the government's tracking you because you're so fucking important, right? No, but I don't think that. I'm just thinking. I, like, I think that they're collecting data as to what are the people doing. What do you mean, like testing? Like they have, have they have no fucking idea, like who you are. Period. Right. right? Because, yeah. Stop. Stop being so self centered that you think the government specifically after you and and they know. Well, I your mean, name. we have we have some reasons to to be on on a list. Yeah. Sure, we do. Right. Well, not reason. I mean, they're looking at us. That's what I mean. Yeah, they don't know who the fuck we are. I right. mean, for the exception of that, uh, the government downloading every single episode of the emails. But- right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I was bringing back. But yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, but no, beyond no, but if they're cataloging us dna wise or whatever or monitoring us in some specific way Mm -hmm. it's as a a cumulative test study not you as an an individual you know crazy thought you send that shit over right whatever they want your swab or your blood or whatever right you send it to them and they fucking clone you (sighs) another conspiracy Possible, yeah, not possible. That. Your doppelganger is already born when you are, though. That's is that how that conspiracy. works? Is that how that works? I don't know how those work. So, what's the, I read what's the something. Myth, what's the myth with those? I read something a long time ago where there is somebody somewhere else in the world who looks identically like you in a different culture, somewhere. How would that? How would that plan out? Or let's say. There is another version if, of you. If there was an somewhere Asian else, me, yeah, right. Let's say there's an Asian me. Ha! Oh, my name's yeah. Scott. Yeah, right. Perfect. Done. How you want we, your rice? How would we know? How would we know each other is each other? Because to me, he looks completely different than me. Well, how would he be? How would he be my? That's clone? another conspiracy on it. So, so we're just gonna unravel conspiracy after conspiracy at this point now. Fuck Keep yeah, continuing yeah. going. Unravel that's another. Ball. That's another conspiracy because when you look in a mirror, you don't see oh, what see other people see. So it's like you that horrible movie. Co- close. Okay. It's like that horrible movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, uh, the dude Green Lantern. Close. Um, the one where he oh, was the cop one, yeah, the cop yeah. one where, where one's one's a one's an Asian and one's yeah. like the chick or something. Yeah. You, you're you, but you look in the mirror and you're something else. Yes, yeah. Something like that. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that I ruined I ruined your conspiracy, cause now it makes it shitty because that's a horrible movie. They were like the, they were the, like the, the fucking ghost the cops. Ghost cops, yeah. I was like, how's a dude gonna agree to fucking do this movie? 
I needed the he, money. He didn't do De- uh, Deadpool yet, I don't think. And no. so I'm like, I get it why he would have done it because like Green Lantern was like his last big thing. But then yeah, Deadpool. Was, but Deadpool set him back up. Yeah. He's done other good stuff though since then, but mm. if he's done that Netflix one was actually was pretty good. That Netflix Waiting. movie. That's old, but yeah. That was before the cop. But that's still that that's like a cult favorite movie. It's like a good that's movie. I watched it the other night, like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Still pretty good. So for me, I wouldn't do it because I'm too scared. I, I'm too conspiracy theorist in me that I think it's some weird shit. Not to mention, I'd probably find out like I'm adopted or something, <clears throat> something weird. So I'd rather just not know. So you wouldn't do it for the show. <laughs> oh, so that's how you're gonna rope me in? I don't, I don't, I. You can go first, and then we'll see what happens. No, we have to do it at the same time. Document us sending it. Oh right? no, we should do it. But and we should doing it. We should each do it right, and then like just close our eyes and see which package it goes into. And just send it out as each other. Like, who's ever is it? We don't know if ours went. Or, like, if it was really ours. <laughs> come back like this, like, like this. And then I'm it really. Not, I'm not Danish. I've never what? been. I've never been to Wisconsin. Oh, I've been to Wisconsin. I have. All my lines go here. Yeah, no. I, I don't know. Why does everything trace back to Denmark? I don't get it. <laughs> In Germany, Germany. I'm related to Hitler. Oh no! How does that oh, work? see, and that would be see. I wouldn't want to know that shit either. No. What if I'm? I mean, that would be kind of crazy. But I don't like, think going that much was, detail. They do. I thought. Oh really? I so you do. know who? Like, you might be they related show, to Mussolini. I don't know if they go that far, but I think the 23 and Me one kind of shows you like the percentage of every, what you are. Every single report that comes back from 23 and Me. Says Someone you're related, Indian, right? Or so you're related to Genghis Khan. Well, yeah, because he he's he made most of the population happen. <laughs> so there's always that, and I'm sure a lot of us have, have some. I'm sure a that, splash of Indian. Yeah, in I'm sure because, there's historians out there and things like that. But how do you think it really happened? Like every single girl of age had to go to Genghis Khan, and he had to to. Serenate them. So, do I think that he, he like it was to, a requirement? He, he, he had to plant the seed in all of them. So for forty year, forty plus years or whatever. See, I don't he, know. I don't know all the details. Of every that story. single girl in his empire, he had to touch in some way, shape, or form. Wow. How do you spread your seed that much? Yeah. Like there had to be some kind of requirement. He or not? He must have been like putting it in jars or something, and, and like giving him. He must have had a grab your pussy mentality, uh, or rule. What do you mean? Like, what do you had mean? to grab them all? Oh yeah, of course. Like Pokemon. <laughs> Got to catch them all, oh, not grab shit. them all. Uh, oh. But yeah, it's funny because you did. You brought a Pokemon. That's an Asian thing. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that was a good correlation there. I like that. Um, I think it works. It did. I think, I think it worked perfectly. But yeah, no, I mean, when you're when you're in power, you know, you feel you can do whatever you want. So I'm sure that's what they had to do in, in order to get bread or rice or whatever they had to do to eat. Oh. So they probably got got paid or exchange. Or if you don't do something the right, grain. then I take your your women of your house. He was like, I'll exchange you some yeast. Obviously, do, some I obviously grain. don't know the historian to that. I just know. Of that story, and, and that, my friend, is where the yeast infection was born. Yeah, history bread. lessons with the amigos. Bread. There's the name of the episode. Yeast infection. Oh, history uh, lesson with the amigos. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It's not name but that. I don't think anyone's gonna <laughs> check that one out. Yeast infection. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> you never know. That could be a gem for some people. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta listen to this one. Yeah, I gotta listen to this one because I have one. Episode 214. I get it. We're not even that far yet. Whatever. It sounded right. Am I close? You gotta be up there somewhere. Uh no, we, it can't this be. Will be 117. Yeah, we're definitely not on two something. <laughs> um, all right, well. Amigos. Don't force it, Scott. So my thing, my thing is. I wouldn't want to do it. Twenty-three, me. Okay. 
either one, and Ancestry or the other one. But what's the craziest most, thing you think you would do for the show? Craziest thing you would do for the show? Well, you know, when I talked about it earlier, good old Prop 207 that passed. Oh, that'd probably, yeah. be, the, that'd probably be the craziest thing. To, that'll be in the do. Amigos future as soon as we can actually get some. Uh, yeah, once it gets legalized, card weed. Once they get legalized and, and we have helpers, and we have the blue blankets. And the, did, uh, I mean, but I don't know. I don't. I mean, you know me. I'm not really that. I'm not adventurous, honestly. Sadly, sorry. It's being real. But if I came up with some, yeah, kind come of up scheme. with something, and then yeah, maybe I'll be like, oh, okay. But most times, you know, nine times out of we well, know shenanigans is in our intro, and like <laughs> we, we never mean, do shenanigans. I know. I mean, well, I mean, we've done You've shenanigans. You've done shenanigans. Yeah. You and yeah. Albert, which... R.I.P. Albert. R.I.P. R.I.P. On the show. But yeah, the shenanigans doesn't really... Uh, this is my... No, we haven't brought up yet. Yeah. We have IMDB credits. Oh, sh- I know. Well, that was... We're keeping that on download. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want any producers calling us. Why? Well, we do, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we found out today that we are IMDb credited. So we're pretty stoked. I got to put my picture up there and shit. Oh, yeah, we should you, do that. Yeah, we got to put a pair of pictures. I'm going to put Grimace up. You think I'll get in trouble? Yes, because I think Grimace is the thing already. I am, I am on IMDb. Is he? He's a... I got to look at A person? Up a person? Yes. Well, he's a person in a mask. IMDb. <laughs> or a suit, not a mask. He's in a whole body suit. So, keep it going, because I have a... Uh, oh, I have to talk to myself? How do I even make that happen? Well, I got to get another drink. You know what's sad is I can't even spell Grimace. What? Purple person. Disney Plus? No, nothing. I don't think Grimace is on IMDb. Not to mention, I don't think IMDb really looks at commercials. Because IMDb, like, Grimace is a commercial McDonald's character. So I don't know. What's that? Oh, your drink? Yeah, you're, you're breaking protocol. Um, oh, wow, I spelled that way wrong. So let's see if Grimace is on IMDb. Now that that's even that important, obviously. It doesn't matter, but all right. So, what do we want to talk about? Well, I think that uh, we've ran out of things to chat. Have about. we? I don't know. Did we? Oh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about, oh. which we talked about because it normally goes down another rabbit hole of conspiracy, is the so there was some news today about more Epstein stuff. Go on. So apparently, they were they were reviewing the 2008. Alec Acosta a deal that he gave Epstein where basically gave him 13 months in prison for all the you know initial findings that they had and you know Epstein was able to still work from you know work and then go home and sleep in his cell and he was still doing the same thing he was doing while he was in prison um, they basically went through and they said there was no wrongdoing um in the real deal yeah so more craziness cover up in this situation mm-hmm. i was also telling you that there was a, a thing that i was watching i don't remember what channel it was on because i'm in this rental house now that actually has cable so i've been uh, watching a lot more stuff that i wouldn't normally watch pbs yeah it wasn't pbs but yeah yeah i have pbs now <laughs> um the uh there was a, a thing called uh, Who Killed Jeffrey Epstein? And there were some things I saw in that documentary show that was, you know, I learned some stuff that they're, they're going after the people that the guards that let him die, let him as loosely worded there, right? So he probably, you know, um, obviously was killed. Well, not obviously, but it seemed like he was killed. Even the autopsy stuff, if anyone knows, you know, his, his one thing you brought up is neck that wounds. maybe they might have been drugged. Right, I was. I mean, I was thinking like they they were asleep. You know, the the argument the was they when were was the last overworked. Time you fell asleep on the job. It's been a long time, man. I mean, it's 
it actually has been since i didn't fall asleep but i used to like i think i probably just wasn't getting enough sleep at some point i think yeah. it's probably back in my younger partying you know four hours you know you wake up you're still feeling a little buzzed and go when, to work kind of thing when i first moved here to arizona i had a well actually i had a, i had a job at an auto zone type place but then um i got hired at the big bank that where we met mm -hmm. and uh my shift i was a telephone banker so you call in what's my balance you know yeah one of those yeah wow i wonder they, they can't have that job still that yeah i that's doubt not, they saw it, that job. it has no it has to be because you, you think you can, so yeah you can get somebody on the phone to talk about your checking account wow still okay, yeah go ahead. anyways so that was that was my job when i first started for the big bank and then i somehow weaseled my way to get the early shift where it started at five but the the so if you press enough buttons on a phone regardless of what time it is you can get somebody on the phone no way yes you can so they would have us come in at five in the morning just in case if that happened so the outside of the time zone areas you're thinking like that's like other countries monitoring it probably i don't know like philippines india stuff like that maybe maybe i, I know at who, some point who philippines. else i mean no they had an overnight crew oh okay so there is something it was at, it was at shock when that gives away where i just it doesn't where, matter Back yeah it doesn't it doesn't but so it's not called that anymore since the fire oh that's true but anyway so yeah. i would come in at five i would take a nap the phones would actually start ringing at seven so then that's when i would wake up so i would take a nap under the desk who who were the type of people's calling for their balances was it older people was it people that were walking the line of you know yeah, in over, initial, overdrawn shit initially like, no in, initially it was like older people but then shortly after katrina happened mm -hmm. and it was everyone from new orleans oh sad because they didn't know like they were trying to figure out if their fema check hit mm -hmm. or it was received uh most this, of the time this was before mobile banking right like you probably couldn't go on your phone yeah you could know Back i mean you then, could go was... online to the website but there but even could, then they didn't there, have an app there was no the, app well i'm thinking over there like all well, the power no one, lines yeah. all the cable no. shit was knocked out so. everybody was in the superdome <laughs> i then, literally had conversations with people in the superdome even if you were let's say you were all in there let's say you had service imagine how fucked up that service would be because you I, have 10,000 plus This tells people. you the date and time, the, like the how dated this story is. I had a flip phone <laughs> when yeah. I had this job. Yeah, that's old. That's old school. A Sprint flip phone. Yeah. Wow. And then, yeah, so that, that was crazy because people would call in. And they're like fucking $300 negative in their account. And they're like, is my FEMA check kid? Nope, uh, not yet. Yeah, you still can't use it. Uh, you're three hundred dollars behind, and then all of a sudden, an email came out from everybody, and they're like, "If they ask, just waive them." The overdraft fees for for people in New Orleans. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, and then eventually, my manager was all like, "Just be proactive about it." Okay. So I'd be on the phone with these people, and I'd be like, "Click, click, 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 click." Uh, you went from negative 300 to you have about a hundred bucks right now. So go and do your thing. Wow. So you were making dreams happen. Yeah, basically. Look at you. And then on top of it, I'd be like selling do, a, a you credit card. You have or something. a soul. Eh. Sometimes. Eh. Yeah. It's hit or miss. Yeah, it's hit or miss. No, eventually as Katrina was starting to fade away and I was still continuing to do that, I had moved over to the business loans team, but I would be overflow for uh the telephone banker still yeah and i so i'd be like okay i'd, I'd still be doing it then and then like, i got my hand slapped like you can't don't let that the hit branch stop mm. i'm like oops <laughs> it's the bottom line yeah. they tried it dude and that's the funny thing too they tried to fuck me one time out of my bonus i had sold like 
250 business checking accounts one month. Oh, so you were doing some Wells Fargo stuff? You were just setting them up? No, <laughs> I wasn't just setting them up. But and I was doing business loans on top of it. Like I basically was like a business banker, right? Yeah. And they were all like, hey, nothing came over under your name because I was on the verge of leaving to go to home. We were we met. Like nothing came under your name. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I had to go and dispute everything, and they finally had to give me my bonus. Wow. Yeah, well, that's what happens. That Big is what bank happens. trying to cheat you out of fucking some money. Of course, always, man. Shareholders. Oh, you're about to experience that soon. All right, let's wind it down. We're wind at, it we're down. At an hour, yeah. Wind it down. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you click the little bell in the corner there. There's a bell? Yep. Make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, so you can get notified. So every time we drop an episode, you are there and watching us live and or as it drops. Make sure that you subscribe to us on every single outlet, platform, podcatcher, thing, whatever you're listening to this on. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. High five. Hugs and kisses. High five. Hugs and kisses. This has been the Amigos PC. Make sure to like, subscribe, and review us on all your podcasting platforms. Visit us at AmigosPC.net for our entire library of content and Amigos merch. Till next time, adios.